We asked you all a few weeks ago which country you wanted us to tackle in our next How Powerful Is video, and we got your response loud and clear. Sweden. It's often pointed to as the ideal combination of capitalism and socialism. Maybe it's due to the country's high standard of living, education, and socialized healthcare. Or maybe it's due to their widely respected international standing. Whatever the reason, we thought, with your motivation, that we'd dive deep into their society, politics, and military to find out the truth behind just how powerful Sweden really is. The Kingdom of Sweden is a Nordic and Scandinavian country, located in Northern Europe. While many use the two terms interchangeably, they're not actually the same. The Scandinavian countries are generally considered to be Sweden and its immediate neighbors, Denmark and Norway. However, the phrase Nordic countries usually also includes Finland, Iceland, Greenland, and the Faroe Islands, as well as the Åland Islands. Compared to most of its neighbors and the European Union, Sweden is massive. Like other Nordic countries, Sweden is still technically a monarchy, although their royal family holds no real power. Instead, power is held by its democratic parliament. The country's constitution is founded on four major pillars. First, all government power is granted by its population by way of parliament, the Riksdag. Second, the constitution says the country will have a king and queen, with specific rules of succession, including a requirement that they be Protestant. Third, freedom of the press is a guarantee, which public authorities are not allowed to censor. Fourth, freedom of expression cannot be abridged except in cases of public defamation. Sweden is also well known for the robust social system it has in place for its population of 10 million residents. The country provides universal health care as well as a free college education for everyone. Part of the reason it's able to do this is because Sweden has one of the highest per capita incomes in the world, and the government taxes that income significantly, on average at nearly 60%. Roughly a quarter of the collected taxes go towards health care and education. About 40% goes toward social security, and just 5% is allocated toward law enforcement and the military. But despite such a low budgetary focus from taxes, Sweden's military actually ranks 29th worldwide, with more than 40,000 available troops and a defense budget of roughly $6 billion. Throughout its history, Sweden has been strictly neutral, with its last direct warfare happening in 1814. It is also a member of numerous intergovernmental organizations, such as the European Union, the United Nations, the Nordic Council, the World Trade Organization, and the OECD. It is not, however, a NATO member, nor is it part of the Eurozone, preferring to use their own currency, the krona. So what does this high-tax, social welfare, and strong military mean for Sweden? Well, they have one of the happiest, healthiest, wealthiest, best educated, and most progressive populations in the world. With 10 million residents, roughly a quarter of the population is foreign-born, due to the country's acceptance of refugees from the Middle East and North Africa. Despite nationalist rhetoric from white supremacy groups, and even the President of the United States, crime in Sweden has not seen a significant rise, and is currently roughly the same as it was in 2005. In short, Sweden has managed to bridge the gap between social welfare and high incomes, while opening its doors to those in need. So when it's held up as a model and standard for how other countries should function, it may be because Sweden is doing incredibly well on its own. So you just watched How Powerful is Sweden, which was suggested by our viewers. Keep an eye out for more polls in our community tab to let us know which topics you want us to dive into. Thanks for watching Now This World, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more episodes every week.